For the past few weeks, I've been experimenting with the Kodak Portra 800 film recipe from FujiXWeekly.com. This one is pretty interesting, and it really does resemble film. If you're new here, my name is Zach. I'm a photographer and arts administrator based in Santa Barbara, California. And today I'm shooting on my Fujifilm X-Pro3. This version of the Portra 800 recipe was created for the X-Trans 4 sensor found on the newest Fujifilm cameras like the X-Pro3, X-T4, etc. So let's talk settings. We start with the classic Chrome film simulation. Dynamic range set to 400, highlight plus 1, shadow 0, color plus 3, noise reduction minus 4, sharpening minus 2, clarity minus 4, grain effect I keep strong large, color chrome effect strong, color chrome effect blue weak, white balance at 5200 kelvin plus 1 red and minus 5 blue, and I just set the ISO to auto. Since my first installment of this series, I've been trying to figure out how the Fujifilm JPEG recipes fit in with my workflow, and I've kind of decided that they don't. That's the beautiful thing about them. These film recipes encourage me to go out and shoot just for me. For most of my work, I shoot in RAW and process it in a specific way. And for the past year, I've really been trying to build consistency into my work. I think consistency is extremely important in a portfolio, and it's something that I've really struggled with since I started shooting. I finally feel like I'm getting the hang of it. But building consistency into your work can sometimes feel monotonous. Enter the Fujifilm JPEG recipes. When I pick up my X-Pro3 and select one of the film recipes, I can forget about all of that and just go have fun. These film recipes encourage me to think about shooting in new ways, and they're one of the reasons that I really enjoy the Fujifilm system. I always shoot RAW plus JPEG so that if I do happen to capture a killer photo, I have the option to edit the RAW file so that it will fit in my portfolio, and I'll have a backup of all the images that I made for that day. With a recipe like Portra 800 specifically, you might want to be shooting in RAW plus JPEG since this simulation is so stylized. I know I'm not capturing anything groundbreaking with these shots, but I hope it gives you an idea of what this recipe looks like and inspires you to get out and make some photos. I find this recipe interesting because it has a unique character and color. It's a bit cool and somewhat soft or dreamlike. It definitely doesn't feel digital, which is nice. By the way, if you enjoy seeing a bit of Santa Barbara through my videos, please check out my online store. I created this little brand to celebrate the beauty of Santa Barbara. All the prints and designs were made by me, the cards and postcards were printed right here in Santa Barbara, and the metal prints are also printed here in California. These make great summer gifts and are just a fun way to say hello to a friend or add some art to your space and support me in the process. Oh, and each order comes with a one-of-a-kind Polaroid print. So the link is in the description, and thanks for checking it out. It means a lot to me. So here are some more examples of the film recipe. By the way, every image you'll see in this video is a straight out of camera JPEG shot on my X-Pro3, most with the Fujifilm XF 35mm f2 and some with the 23mm f2. I've added a link to a folder where you can download some of the example images from today to get a sense of what they look like. Feel free to check them out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this recipe. Which one is your favorite? If you're new here, consider subscribing and say hi in the comments. I'd love to meet you here. Thank you, thank you, as always, for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Love is